Ooh, no. Ow! Ooh! What are you doing? Uh, oh, uh, I, uh, uh, I am looking, ah, uh, I'm looking for, uh, ow! Oh, I, I'm looking for, ow! Oh, something, I, oh! I got it! Ah! Whoo! Whoo! Hey! Huh. It really is hard to find hay in a needle stack. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ow! 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 Oh, okay, first we uh, shake under the desk. Yeah, yeah, right there. Then we elbows. All right. Woo! Hello, everybody. I'm oh. John. And I'm Brandon. And you're watching The So-and-So Show. And our very secretive, extremely official, Super professional. So and so show handshake. Oh. So and so show handshake. So and so show handshake. Oh, still can't high five, huh? No, I never learned how growing up, and it just didn't seem like something I would ever need to know. Oh, bummer. Well, I do know someone you need to know. Who's that? Someone who knows stuff. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Here you go. Uh, so uh, tell us who you are and what you know. I'm Prospect Sale, and I know all kinds of things, but my favorite things I know are all to do with prospecting. Oh, uh, what's prospecting? What's prospecting? Yeah. You don't know? Uh. Well, it's only the best dream job man ever did dream up. <sighs> It's panning for gold. Oh, that is very cool. Oh, cool. Uh, have you always wanted to be a prospector? Oh, well, ever since I was 10 years old. Before that, I didn't think I could become a prospector. The only ones I ever seen were old men with long beards. I'm not old. I'm not a man. I don't have a beard. No. So, so what did you do? Well, one day I decided that none of that stuff really mattered. I could pan for gold without a beard. <laughs> all I really needed was something I had all along. What are you, your gold mining pants? Nope. A human brain. Oh. All the hardest work's done right up there. <laughs> pants only do the catching. Oh. That's easy. Oh. Can you show us how to pan oh, for yeah. gold? Oh, you've got brains, don't you? <laughs> Last I checked. Great. Let's go. Yeehaw. Uh, don't we need a river or stream with lots of sediment to pan for gold? Well, usually, but you don't have a stream nearby, so we'll take what we can get. <laughs> Roger that. Now, this bag of cereal is supposed to contain a prize. Oh. So let's see if you boys can find it. Just do what I do. My pan's empty. Yeah, you may have panned a little too fast. Oh. <laughs> Here, try like this. Just a little slower. Okay. Yeah. I don't think this is working. Yeah. <laughs> you may be being a little too gentle. Oh, okay. It, it, it's just cereal. <laughs> don't be afraid to let it spill out. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. One more. You got it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh look at that. I got it! Oh. Nice work, Brandon! I wanted it. Let's try another one. Oh, are we actually looking for gold this time? Yep. <laughs> but mind the worms. Yeah, what? Just teasing. Oh. Ain't no real worms in there. <laughs> but when you're looking for gold, sometimes there are distractions in the dirt. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Hey! <laughs> I found a gummy worm! <laughs> My favorite! Uh -oh. oh! Oh, this is dirty. Yeah, and distracted. Get searching! Hey, I found it! Oh, oh, oh I did too! Now, did too. that I do recommend eating. Oh, okay. All right. Mm. Without the wrapper. Uh huh. 
Mm, yeah, that's so good. Thank you, Prospector Sal. That was fun. You're and welcome. delicious, except for the dirt. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Hope to see you boys out on the river sometime. Oh, yeah. Well, sure thing. You can keep the pans. Hey. Oh, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye now. All right. <laughs> Hey, I feel like I learned something. Hey, you want to learn more? Of course. Good, it's Bible Story Time with Kellen. Woo! Hey, guys. Hey, Kellen. Y'all ready for some Bible Story action? You bet. Great. Today, we're talking about a man named Rehoboam. He was the son of King Solomon, and the grandson of King David. When Solomon died, it was Rehoboam's time to step up to the throne and become king of all Israel. So, to help tell this story, here's Human Head Puppet Theater! Yeah! Ah, yes! I am Rehoboam, son of Solomon. Don't you just love me? <laughs> Yeah, you do. Of course you do. I'm going to be king. <laughs> Look at my crown. Rehoboam went to the city of Shechem, where all the Israelites were gathered to make him king. They chose a man named Jeroboam to speak for them. Hmm. King Rehoboam. Yeah, Jeroboam. All of us Israelites were talking, and we wanted to say to you... That you love my new robes? Whoa. What? No. Oh, oh, that you want me to uh, pass a strict Fridays off a sweatpants dress code, huh? <laughs> what? Actually, that sounds really nice, yeah. but no. Oh, well, spit it out. <sighs> All right. Your father made our lives hard. Right? He put heavy loads on us. Give us a break. Lighten up on us, and, and we will serve you. Hmm. All right, give me three days to think about it. Didn't come back here, am I right? Right. Okay, I'll think about it, I'll think about it. King Rehoboam talked it over with the elders who had served and advised his father, King Solomon. Uh, so uh, what advice can you give me? <laughs> How should I answer these people? Be kind to them, <laughs> please them. Give them what they are asking for. They will always serve you. Huh, yeah, sounds kind of boring <laughs> and wimpy, but I, I'll think about it. I'm not really going to think about it. I just don't want my elders to feel so quickly rejected. <laughs> I'm literally right here. Oh, yeah, you got some new advice? <laughs> yes. Maybe don't whisper about someone when they're in the room with you. Oh, now that is good advice. Can you believe this guy? <laughs> then Rehoboam asked instead for the advice of the young men he had grown up with and who served him now. Hey! hey! Hello, my friend! Hey, secret handshake! Oh, yeah! Hey. Oh, 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 oh! 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 oh. 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 High five! Yeah! Ah, uh, really? Uh, it's, all right. it's all right. Just go ahead and tell the story. Oh, right. Yeah. Dude, what's going on, my friend? Hey, I want to hear your advice. Really? Yeah. Well, right. um, what should I say to these people who asked me to lighten the load that my father put on them? Oh, dude. Yeah. They are crazy for asking you that. You oh. should tell them, my little finger is stronger than my father's legs. My little finger, huh? Yeah, yeah. These fingers of mine are quite little, <laughs> so that is saying a lot. Yeah, <laughs> Go yeah. on. Yeah, if you, you you tell him, if you think my father was harsh, you hadn't seen the half of it. Now I'm going to be way more harsh than he was. Hmm. That sounds nice. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> High five. Yeah. Come on. The people showed up three days later, just as Rehoboam had told them. And I bet you can guess whose advice he decided to listen to. Okay. I do think uh, life under my father was hard. You haven't seen the half of it. I'll make all your heavy loads even heavier, huh? I'll be way more harsh than my father was. <laughs> Get lost, son of David. 
We don't have any share in your family line. We're going home. You can mind your own business and take care of yourself. Wait, 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 where are you going? Was it something I said? I, I, come look at how small my fingers are. It's, the, it's not that heavy. My little pinky. I just... Oh. So the Israelites went home. And because of Rehoboam's decision, the nation of Israel was split into two. Rehoboam only ruled over the Israelites who lived in the towns of Judah. The rest of Israel refused to be ruled by the royal family of David. The end. The end? Seriously? Yeah, seriously. He really should have picked the other advice. <laughs> it's true. His choice had huge consequences that affected generations of people. You know, it's a good reminder that our choices don't just affect us. Absolutely. And listening to wisdom is a huge help when making our choices. It's like what Rehoboam's father, Solomon, wrote in the book of Proverbs. Walk with wise people and become wise. A companion of foolish people suffers harm. Now that's some great advice. Yeah, thanks, Kellen. You're welcome. I'll see you next time. If Rehoboam had listened to the wise counselors, his whole life and the history of Israel could have been different. Yeah, I, it's important to know who to listen to. I mean, those young guys were pretty confident in their opinion, but they weren't actually wise. True, I like where you're going with this. Yeah. So, uh, reveal the question. <laughs> who is the wisest person you know? Yeah, really think about it. It's helpful to know who is wise, so we know who to learn from and who to go to for help. Might be a parent or a teacher or maybe a friend or a grandparent. We all have wise people in our lives. So talk it out together and we'll see you next time. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this is the So and So Show. Here we go. Here we High go. five. Here we go. Oh, come on. High five. Yeah. Where's your hands? High oh. five. Oh, hey. <clears throat> oh, 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 you oh. punched me in the face. I'm sorry. How did you I'm, not? I'm, I'm trying to hit your You hands. hit my face. Seven. All right. High five. All right. I'm getting close. High five. Oh, hit. Ah! Yeah! We're two best friends. <laughs>